introducing RAML. Let's take a look at what exactly RAML is, and then we'll see how it can be used in the art of consuming RESTful web services. So first off, approaches to API design. What, what options are out there for designing an API? One of the most obvious is hand coding, typically the most time consuming and hard to maintain ways of approaching API design. And it's often a little bit disconnected from the consumer. There's not really this feedback or discussion going on with the API consumer and potentially the API designers and developers. Then there's tooling like Swagger. Swagger is a very verbose way and it will primarily be used for generating documentation on this API. It has a little bit of limited reuse, uh, but it is JSON based. So it's, it's quite familiar to a lot of developers as far as the syntax is concerned. Then there's a product like Apiary's Blueprint. Markdown, design focused. It has a little bit of limited reuse inside of its design. And the tooling is proprietary, so it's not open like in the case of Swagger. Now there is a fourth option to API design, RAML, RESTful API Modeling Language. We'll talk more about RAML soon, but basically it's a much simpler and cleaner way to design APIs. It's quite intuitive and is open, non-proprietary, so you can actually go on to GitHub and see the RAML specification and different things in the RAML project, and it's based on some very familiar standards. So RAML, like I said, RESTful API modeling language is a simple and clean way of describing RESTful APIs. All the things that the consumer might need to know about, the resources, schemas, parameters, responses, and more. It's developed to help out the current API ecosystem. The hope is to encourage reuse, enable discoverability and pattern sharing, and aim for best practices in this new world of RESTful APIs. It's non-proprietary in a vendor neutral open spec, and built on broadly used standards such as YAML and JSON. You can get more information about the RAML project at raml.org, and later in this course, we'll actually write some RAML to support an API. An example of RAML, just to give you a quick snapshot, is something like this. As you can see here, quite a human readable way of describing the API. At the top, we've got things like the title, the version, the base URI. Going down further, you can see forward slash songs representing the songs resource representing the fact that it can accept get requests on that resource. You can post to the songs resource, creating a new song and so on and so forth. So a deeper dive in RAML will come in due time, but note that it is a descriptive way of modeling an API and it has a lot of other benefits that we'll get into soon.